I'm Jack Canfield. You may know me as the co-creator of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series. I was in the movie The Secret and wrote a book called The Success Principles. And um, I'm glad to be with you. Jack, tell me a time you experienced heaven on earth. I would say the one day, there was a whole day uh, that was heaven on earth. I was in uh, uh, the island of Kauai, in Hawaii. And I got up in the morning and spent a wonderful, beautiful morning with my wife. And we did yoga, and we meditated, and then we went for a walk uh, up Waimea Canyon. And I ran into one of my best friends totally unexpectedly on the island, Martin Root. And we spent a whole afternoon going through this island, the Waimea Canyon, having a great time. Then we went down to the beach, and it was a sunset, and my wife was body surfing, and this woman who was like a kahuna came by, and she was helping my wife break through a major block she had in her life. Went out to dinner together, went to a gallery opening with Wyland, and uh, three of us had a great time. Went back to the hotel after that and um, played backgammon with my wife, went to bed, made love. I mean, it was the most glorious day of my life. And I think why it was heaven on earth is it contained love, friendship, being in nature, uh, appreciating art, being accepted and treated by people as if I were special, which I like to think I am, and, uh, and also having learning and growth occur. And um, so that was a, literally a day that was for me heaven on earth. Jack, imagine you had a magic wand and could create and have heaven on earth. What is heaven on earth? To me, heaven on earth would be a place where everyone is living their highest vision, coming from their heart, uh, following their own path of joy. Because I believe that when people do that, that every one of us is like a cell in a giant body called humanity. And if every cell is doing what it was designed to do, then the whole body works. And when cells don't do their function, we experience illness or disease in our bodies. And I think the same is true on the planet. So for me, heaven on earth is everyone coming from their heart, following their bliss, following their joy. And I believe when people do that, they would be connected to all of life, would be very compassionate, would support other people, would not damage other people or the planet, and that uh, everything would work. Can you give me two or three simple, easy things you're going to do in the next 24 hours that will move that vision of heaven on earth forward? Well, what I would do in the next 24 hours to move the vision of heaven on earth forward is, number one, really greet each person that comes into my life as if they're supposed to be there and not be so seeking about what I want to get, but trusting the universe is bringing people to me so that there's this sense of, of unfoldment and lack of judgment and, and not pushing away and just including and accepting and embracing everything that shows up in my, in my space. Uh, another thing that I will do, I learned a, um, this work, Ho'oponopono, recently, where everyone that you meet in every space you walk into, there's this sense of saying to that person and to God and to nature and to just, you know, the, the physical space that we find ourselves in, uh, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you. Meaning I'm sorry for anything I might have done that's created separation. Please forgive me for doing that. Thank you for this opportunity to clear and heal and become more one with all that is, and I love you. And uh, when I do that, I find that I just open up, my heart opens up, and I'm in this presence with people that's uh, very powerful for me. And the third thing I'll do is um, go to bed when my wife goes to bed and not stay up and play computer games, because that little act of love is so important in my intimate relationship, and not just to be focused on my own needs. Any advice for our viewers about what they could do to help bring heaven on earth? Well, I think the, the first thing is, as, as I said earlier, follow your joy. Just really trust that your joy is a feedback system for what is most important for you to be doing. I think the other thing is to, to reach out and express your love to the people that you do love and appreciate. Uh, we often take people for granted, and um, I think it's unfortunate that we do that. I'm certainly a victim of doing that as well. But every time I've reached out and appreciated people, uh, it opens up a space of love, and people feel trusted and safe, and they open up and express themselves fully, and out of that comes realization and interdependence. And I think the third thing that you could do would be to, um, to play a little more, have a little more fun, because I think life is meant to be fun.